Well, stallions and stallionettes, mining with your gaming PC, whether that's a desktop or a laptop, is more profitable than it ever has been before, at least in my three and a half years experience. I'm going to share with you guys how to get your actual profitability, what you have been making with your graphics card, your CPU, your ASIC miner, what have you, and why all of a sudden this random boost in profitability. Let's get it. Alright, you guys, share my screen over here. I have the nice hash miner pulled up, or quick miner, I should say, and I have made a separate video. It will be linked in the description below. It's a quickie, but it is very beneficial where I go over why you do not want to go over local or actual profitability, as this is more or less an estimate. There's a lot of variables, a lot of factors that do fluctuate and don't really have a lot to do with your specific hardware. It is relying on statistically what people using similar hardware with similar electrical costs have made, but how to get your actual profitability. First of all, you actually have to mine for about 24 hours, so that way I can get some, some historical statistical data. And you are gonna come down here, whoo, that hash rate, boy howdy. Oh, overclock 3080, baby. 90% of the time, as of recent, you're going to see Dagger Hash Moto right here. This is a NVIDIA GPU specific miner targeting the Ethereum cryptocurrency. And if you come over here to all, all algorithms, it will show you if you are mining multiple uh, multiple algorithms. It will show you if you did switch automatically or something, because one of the nice features of Nice Hash Legacy Miner and also Quick Miner is that it will automatically target the most profitable um, algorithm, the most profitable coin. So if you're at work or sleeping, it'll basically reallocate your hash power uh, so you don't have to manually change scripts or anything like that, which is really awesome, especially for gamers that don't know much about mining cryptocurrency. They don't have an open chassis rig or an ASIC. It's literally just their gaming laptop or desktop that happens to have a nice GPU up and in, up inside of her, like a 2080 Ti or a 3060 or a 3080 or a 3090. And uh, as you can see, over the last six hours, which I was mining consistently that time as I did just get home from work, $32.61 if I were mining for 24 hours a day. However, I usually mine for about 16 to 18 hours a day, which is a little bit more accurately reflected here with the $22.03. Now, this does take into account, like I said, those huge blocks in time, about six to eight hours a day where I stop mining so I can game AAA titles, stream, 4K video edit, whatever it is that I need to do with my GPU, and then I start mining again. So down here, this is the most accurate depiction. Is that a real word? Dictation. This is the most accurate representation of what you're actually earning. Don't go off local or actual profit. These are useful tools if you're just trying to get an average of what you can expect to make. I mean, if you're going to do that, you might as well just come over here to the profitability calculator. Nice hash forward slash profitability calculator and type in the device that you have. Put in your electrical cost. Uh, I'm in Florida, so I pay 0 0.1 US dollars per kilowatt hour. I have one graphics card, you calculate, and it'll give you an estimate. Oh, approximately 2380. That is on a stock clock and whatnot. And again, a lot of variable factors in there. Also, that number's incorrect because if you just do the math, 23 times 30, you know, 30 days in a month, that's not 311. That's more like, it's over $600 a month. But if you come over to here, we're looking at about $31 if you're mining for 24 hours with my specific, you know, this is just my numbers, my mega hash. I'm generally between 99 and 101 mega hash. Uh, my temperatures are generally around 50 to 55 Celsius on the core clock on the core of my GPU and about 92 to 96 Celsius on the VRAM, which is very respectable for a 3080 uh, considering they do get a little toasty on the old VRAM. So this is how you're going to find your actual profitability. And then I want to cover why it is so profitable to mine right now. Now I want to cover why this sudden spike in profitability, because obviously this is the most profitable it has been to mine with your gaming PC in a long time, especially on the NiceHash platform. So there's this little article right here. NiceHash always does have some pretty informative forums or little topics that they cover in their um, their little blog here. Profitability fluctuates all the time because of the buyer's orders on the nice hash hash power marketplace. So basically how nice hash works is you are not actually targeting the coins directly. You're not mining them. What you're doing is renting out your CPU or GPU or ASIC to basically um, other large mining farms or operations that need to recruit other people's hardware for what's called hash power. And basically they're recruiting your rigs. They're using your hash power to target specific algorithms. But 
it's good for everybody because for us, it's super easy. You just press play and walk away, not have to worry about anything else. And it's basically just mining with your gaming PC. If buyers demand more hashing power, the profitability will go up. If there's fewer or smaller, Paquito, if you will, orders on the marketplace, the profitability goes down. You as the seller or miner of the hashing power, fulfill the buyer's order for hashing power. It's a very dynamic supply and demand relationship. And right now, they're demanding a lot of us and we, we're supplying them with the hash power that they need. I had a little crink in my wrist, sorry about that. <laughs> but if we come over here, there's an article from Statista.com and it says mining profitability of Ethereum per day from July 2015 to May 11th. 2021 and it has this little blurb right here mining ethereum has been made increasingly more money over the course of 2020 and early into 21 with profits effectively doubling within a single month during the mining of cryptocurrencies a computer is trying to solve complicated logic puzzles to verify transactions in the blockchain so whenever there's transactions it is us miners that are able to verify those transactions to make sure that they are valid and they become permanently logged on the blockchain when this process is completed the miner receives cryptocurrency as a reward. The underlying current is that the machines with more computing power or hash rate, that big old thick boy 3090 you have, overclocked with thermal pads and paste installed, is likely to solve more puzzles and therefore mine more currencies. Whether a miner can make money with this depends on various costs such as electrical consumption during the process, transaction fees, or whether the hardware used is efficient or not. So you have to look at things like, is your card power efficient? What is your electrical cost like in your area? Most areas of North America, not all, don't get me wrong, like California and New York, um, I think Maryland maybe, there's some pretty expensive areas for electricity. However, I'm in Florida, our electrical costs are pretty damn cheap because we have a lot of alternative energy out here, such as the hurricanes we get every three to six hours. And then as for transaction fees, NiceHash basically lumps all that into their into their program, into their architecture. How they operate is basically, like I said, you're not actually mining directly coins. You're renting out your hardware to large scale mining operations that rent our hash power, our mega hash, if you will. And kind of everyone gets to eat off the same plate. I'm going to make a separate video going over how you can literally just mine your own coins if you want to manually mine Ethereum. Um, but for me personally, this is as of now. I've been mining for about three years now. This is my second PC, third graphics card uh, that I've been mining with. And when I say third graphics card, it's not like the other one's crapped out or anything like that. I've just been steadily upgrading my my gaming setup and just so happens it's more profitable for mining, too. Now, listen, what? I personally like the way NiceHash operates. There's a lot of uh, other YouTubers out there and whatnot that question its security and whatnot. It's valid, valid concern. I mean, they were hacked in 2017. That was four years ago. They beefed up their cybersecurity quite a bit and patched some vulnerabilities and whatnot. I've had no issues, but I fully understand if you have an issue with NiceHash, and I'm not saying you're wrong. In fact, I can fully see your argument. But for me personally, while I'm at work, sleeping, wrestling with my girlfriend, if you know what I mean, and I come home and I look over here and I'm like, holy mother of God, it smells like passive income in my office. Ah, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> <laughs> that just puts a smile on my my big greasy Italian face and that's all you can really ask for in life. It's gonna do it guys. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps to get seen by more people so this information can reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel from a limp flaccid doozer to a big thick veiny girthy rager, which is what we're going for. Subscribe for more content like this. I do a ton of tutorials getting you set up mining cryptocurrency with your gaming PC as well as news in the gaming community and industry and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.